When you've been asked to deal with birds that are as canny as corvids, you sometimes need to adopt remote control techniques. Allowing us to keep our distance will be this Ruger 7717. The 17 HMR has an effective range of 2 to 300 yards on smaller game, whereas a calibre like the 22 Rimfire loses trajectory, dropping off significantly beyond 50 to 60 yards. Before we get started, we have some crap to deal with. The field we've been watching is being fertilised, keeping the birds in the trees and us looking for other likely targets. The birds are roughly, or exactly, 300 yards. So this um, 17 HMR is zeroed at 200, it's got about another three and a half inches drop at uh, 300. So, but there's a perfect, there's a huge back uh, backdrop, massive hill there, so it's a nice safe shot. The road's on our left hand side, we've been spoken to the farmer, he's happy for us to take some of these out for him. Now there's a big tree full of uh, rooks up there that are waiting to get back on this field that's just been spread. So, let's get loaded up and take our first shot. Using the car's wing mirror, I can get a solid shooting position, as long as everyone else in the car doesn't start shifting for a better view. I dropped the first bird of the day at over 110 yards. The others don't hang around, so we take a drive. And now it's Keith's turn. He too uses the car to get settled. This bird is again in the 80 to 90 yard zone. It flies, but drops at the hedge line. We decide to abandon the car and head out on foot. That's 325. Need to find some other closer. Yeah, when we get across to this fence, the field drops away. We can look in it. Yeah, when those, the birds lifted off when we come in. Yeah. And get a good look at them from on top here. Maybe if we just have a mooch up to this fence and then just have a look over and see what there is. Cool. Not only are these birds difficult to get close to, they're continuously bobbing and weaving, making it difficult to get a clean shot. When we do spot some more across the valley, it's pushing the capabilities of man and machine. This is long range corvids, right? Yeah. That might be in a different county though, so I'll leave that one be. Keith and I have had a few shots with a Ruger, and for me it's a rimfire that's grown up and playing with the big boys. So, I'm really impressed with this uh, Ruger 7717. It's not just the fact that the 17 HMR itself, the, the bullet performance is, is phenomenal out at 100, 150 yards. But this is a rimfire that feels like a full-size hunting rifle. Good, solid, bolt feel in your hand, it doesn't feel like a toy like some of the other ones do. Uh, perfect reach to pull, it's not, it's not too short. Uh, normally with a, uh, other rim fires I do tend to find that uh, it feels like I'm holding a child's gun. Full length 24 inch barrel and I found you know, a reasonable muzzle crack given the two and a half thousand feet per second velocity. So how have you found it to shoot? I've enjoyed using it. Um, I wasn't sure of the trigger to start with but after I put a few rounds through it I've started to, to get used to that. So that's something that will come with time and I'm very impressed with the safety, the three position safety, so you can still cycle your bolt um, and, and work your mag and everything at the same time, it's, um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's a good point. This uh, rotary magazine system in here, which is very similar to the one that's used in the uh, uh, Ruger 1022, the uh, semi-automatic. Now, whereas I do have, have uh, from time to time problems with feeding uh, with the 1022, unless I pick the, the ammunition correctly, this thing's absolutely spot on. Fast cycles, no jams, no misfeeds. It's, uh, it's a pretty phenomenal system, so I'm, I'm really pleased with it. Like I say, it's a, it's a feels like a full bore rifle, but firing a 17 grain bullet. So, and it's been performing pretty well out to the long distances, and I think we have to realize that, um, although it, f it may feel like the trigger's heavy, we're shooting at targets no bigger than a Coke can, at 150, 200 yards, whereas when normally if you're shooting deer at those ranges, you have a much larger, larger target to aim at. So, so anyway, it's performed pretty well today. It's got a little bit more work to do tonight. So I think we're gonna head round, give it one more uh, head round at uh, Rambo's and, and then see where we go from there. Okay. We do get another couple of shots. This one is 70 yards, but the fast flat speed of this bullet knocks these birds down. It's been a pretty tricky morning. Um, we've got six in the bag, which is great. Uh, but it's, it's been hard going. The birds have been a bit flighty. They've not really let us get within 150, 200 yards before, before taking off. Um, 
The great thing we've got is it's been attracted some fields that have been freshly uh, spread with slurry, uh, which is which is quite nice. So obviously they're looking at undigested food, undigested seeds in the slurry. Uh, so we're going to head back over towards Deverage and, and see if we can get a few more there. But so far so good, but there's still plenty of the day yeah. left. With long range targets we have to be 100% happy oh, yeah, it's safe perfect. and we're confident with our position and kit. Wow. It's a discipline that will ultimately make us better at what we do.